Hey guys, it's Kat, and before we start the video, I would like to give a little bit of a disclaimer, just so you know that this video does touch on some politics and some views of politics. I, for one, don't really talk much about politics, but the video in general does touch on it. But I would like to let you know that no matter your political views, you are welcomed here on Miss Cat Squad. And I would like you guys to know as long as you are respectful for each other, you are welcomed here on Miss Cat Squad. But anyway guys, let's get into the video. It's coming! It's happening! It's actually happening! Guys! Guys, don't hug me. I'm scared it's coming back, and I am scared so much, so please don't hug me because I'll probably flail around like this. You don't want that! You don't want my hands to be spanking you all around! <laughs> no pun intended. Well, guys, my name is Kat, and guys, welcome back to Miss Cat Squad, the geeky and let's play talk show that's all about, guys. You know what it is? You know what it is? Geeky goodness and video games. The sweet, sweet video games that we love. By the way, guys, uh, yeah, today we're reacting to some more Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared content thanks to uh, the game theorists who, you know, they really like to get to the nitty gritty down to what this fandom's about and the lore and everything. And the lore is very fascinating. The lore is extremely fascinating to this series is what you guys have been saying. And if you want me to make more Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared videos on here on Miss Cat Squad, please let me know because this fandom is so supportive and amazing. And I, for one, would like to do like any type of quiz out there about them or what, like, you know, talk about what you love about the characters or you know things like that but uh, today we're giving a reaction because wakey wakey is coming and i'm really scared i for one am extremely scared because we know how the last episode ended how it was all unplugged and everything was done and they restarted everything and i don't know how wakey wakey is gonna start because it's <sighs> oh no I'm scared. You know, I'm really scared because you don't want to do this to people. These are the type of the videos that make you go insane. It mind boggles you. It makes your mind go like, what? Because literally, if you're you know, you're really young and you watch these things, you might be like, I, for one, am not that young. And I watch these things and I'm like, what the mother is that? What the mother is that? If you guys want to check out the Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared reaction video on this guest, but please do because it will torture your mind. It will make you insane. That's right, folks. Hey. <laughs> I don't want to make anybody insane. I don't want to make anybody tortured, but you know what I'm saying? That this vi these videos will make you think about life and be like, what is it? What's the point? But today I found a very I found a very interesting video that we're going to be reacting to as we gear up for Wakey Wakey and I can't wait to see where this happens and what happens next because I'm not, I'm scared. I'm I'm actually really scared to see what they're going to do, what the creators going to be doing and they're like I feel like they're going to be doing a lot of extra things because they can now because they know how we as the fans react to it and I need water. Ay. I'm stressed guys, okay? I don't know what else they're gonna do. What else can they talk about? What kind of things are they gonna add to this fandom? And I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Well, let's get reacting, shall we? Ugh. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I love his videos. He is like the god of theories. One of my favorite entertainment genres is puppet psychological horror that comments on the state of modern children's Same. programming Same. and very specific tastes. With DHMIS relegated to the archives of YouTube where it would live in infamy, joining the ranks of <laughs> Marble Hornets and Salad Fingers as twisted web series that would deliver creepy nostalgia for a generation so of youngsters. There's so many creepy things on YouTube, guys. So much. That's what I thought. Then, out of nowhere, the yeah. channel suddenly became active again, dropping a new trailer why, entitled though. Wakey Wakey to announce that the <laughs> show was coming coming back. <laughs> Great news. See, it's my theory that this new season is going to be about the current political situation in America. The duck is Donald Trump. <laughs> what? It's so crazy. Remember that this is a show where a boy wanders off from a picnic and almost ends up in a cult that worships a god who eats gravel. So it's time to pick apart the trailer and see just how deep this rabbit hole is. Okay, goes. let's go. First and foremost, it's important to note that the room that's partially destroyed in the trailer is, upon closer inspection, the office of Clay Hill's mayor. As we can Whoa. see, by the picture of him on the wall and the identifying medal he's wearing in the picture on his desk. Something happened to the mayor of this town. Notice also that it's discovered by the duck. See, of this course. shot of him opening the doors and this duck build shadow when we're actually presented with the room. This is going to be important later on. The disappearance, or even murder of the mayor. Oh god, no! The show that red guy, yellow guy, and the duck 
her on to do a very special installment about safety, with this key as their guest teacher. As these episodes always go, what probably starts as a basic lesson about the importance of safety and locking things up spins You know, nothing works out, control, guys! Escalating into a paranoid fervor about security and keeping bad people out. Notice that the yellow padlock that's put on the gates of Clay Hill angry. in this shot looks a heck of a lot like the lock that's hanging around the key's neck in that brief scene. We also Great. see that the red guy Great. is now locked out of town looking in. Why would that be? because he's now the bad guy. Or at least that's the story that's being spread about him. Let's take another, hmm. even closer look at what I assume is the crime scene in the mayor's office. Like red goes through the most that out of everybody. file cabinet, we see a green scarf with yellow perpendicular lines on it that should look pretty familiar. Sure, we've seen it in previous DHMAS episodes, but based on the ending of episode <gasps> 5, we know that it belongs to Red Guy, because Ooh. he is actually wearing it as he walks away from the oh phone no, booth. what did he do? If the duck is the one who discovers the crime scene, maybe he recognizes that clue and uses it to get <gasps> Red Guy banished from Clay Hill. Red, all, no! What we see of Red I love Guy you, my man. Wiki, wiki trailer is him in isolation and outside of the town. As he walks through a forest, is literally locked out of the city, or is just looking through binoculars, <laughs> again, out in the wilderness. Now consider this. The duck is really the focal point to this trailer. Not only is he the one who discovers the ruined mayor's office, but throughout the trailer, we see a lot of imagery pointing to the duck being in control. Oh, okay. yeah! With the shot of the locked gate behind it. But I don't want to see him as is evil. He's too up. cute. It's hard to fully make out the words, but it appears to say the town is safe. So with the mayor missing, there is Got now it. a power vacuum in Clay Hill, one that the duck seems to step in and fill. He is what? an established television celebrity, and if he throws a red guy under the bus by blaming Why him Why would he do that to his friend? Mayor, he can use that to improve his credibility and spread the message that he'll be the one to keep Clay Hill oh, safe no, and no, no. in control. And then there are plenty of subtler clues at play, too. When we see the locked gates of Clay Hill, we can also see a surveillance but, camera with a duck bill on it. They're friends. I don't want anything to happen to their friendship. The security measures. Oh, that no. same kind of duck bill is also on the robot with the drill for a hand that we see in this yeah, shot. Yeah, he's gonna get then power course, hungry. The shot he's of what get power might hungry. best be described as a duck machine, with him plugged into various computers and machines like the ones that we saw at the end of DHMAS 6. That my question is why, though. to control and monitor the show and the to him. Guy. It's also noteworthy that this duck machine might be in the mayor's office. We've got yet another green filing cabinet, similar to the one that we saw on the floor with Red Guy's scarf on it, I and know. the same blue and white tile pattern on the floor of both rooms. It appears as though this is near the end of the series, with the duck having created a full-on surveillance state. And but I love duck! <laughs> hard into the monitoring systems that he's using to keep a watch on everyone in town. As for the yellow guy, well, we yeah. don't get to see much of him, but we can tell from one shot that he's not banished from Clay Hill like Red Guy. It's my he's belief that again, yellow guy he? will be the only one who can end up stopping the duck. But to truly understand why I say that and apart. how he's gonna do it, we have to look at some real life parallels. Becky Sloan and Joe Pelling, creators of Don't Hug Me, clearly had something cautionary to say about television in their original six episodes, and I don't think this one is any different. I also don't think it's a coincidence that a politician goes missing and that it's the duck who ends up filling the role. The narrative <laughs> of a television celebrity stoking paranoia to claim political power seems like a pretty direct connection to how many people view President Donald Trump these days. Beyond <laughs> being one of the most controversial figures in recent oh, memory, no. there's something to be said about television's role in getting him elected. Obviously, millions of people were already familiar with the Don's personality from his show The Apprentice, but some media agencies reported that the amount of coverage Trump's campaign got had a valuation of $800 million I don't want this in to get political. That's casting. the only thing, you and know? if you include digital coverage, the amount jumps to about $5 billion in free coverage, more than the campaigns of Hillary Clinton, Bernie Sanders, Ted Cruz, and Marco <laughs> Rubio combined. Locking up Clay Hill for its protection also feels very similar to ideas Trump has espoused about closing off America's borders oh, no. and blaming the red guy for oh, a crime no. that he may or may not have committed. Don't turn, don't do this to ducks. Don't do this to the show, please. To Trump's immigration policies. Even the ducks government sponsored security cameras oh, have themselves a direct connection. I am concerned. It's also pretty on brand for the people who are making this show. Becky and Joe are both British. 
British. And as Trump's visit to the UK in 2018 showed, many people overseas aren't the biggest fans of his. On a more personal level, Joe has a history of retweeting media and tweets that run <laughs> counter to the American far right or mock Trump and his family, including a video made by the other production company, Super Deluxe, which just so happens to now be producing the new season of DHMIS. Mm. When you actually look at Super Deluxe's history of programming, it would make a ton of sense for the new episodes of DHMIS True. to be a commentary on Trump. Super Deluxe has put out lots of content over the past couple of years lampooning the Don, including a series <laughs> made by former president of Mexico, Vincente Fox, where Fox generally attacks Trump. One of Fox's <laughs> biggest issues, that Mexico will not pay for Trump's proposed border wall. Mexico will not pay for this huge wall. I know that this doesn't directly prove that the next season of Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared is going to be about the Ducks takeover of Clay Hill. And I hope not. I really hope not. Got some That'll ruin the series, though, in my opinion. That makes sense, given the show's history and producers who aren't afraid to lean into this kind of messaging. You might say that the duck becomes the Donald duck. Uh, oh, wait, there's one final point. I mean, that would, that would be funny, guy? but... Well, for as dark and cynical as the series can be, DHMIS seems to end itself on notes of hope. Independent digital video was the hopeful ending of the first six DHMIS episodes, and now it's my theory that Yellow Guy might just be the one to offer hope of ending the duck's totalitarian reign in this new How is Yellow gonna do it? We've seen how he reacts to certain things. Town, but in the shot of the duck machine, we see him here, in the corner. You can tell by his ear, only now he his has hair. a pink mohawk. Yellow Guy in yeah. the DHMIS series has always represented the youth, the next generation, kids. Oh, All no. the evil kids programming from episodes one through six was directly aimed at brainwashing yeah, him. Yeah, and he now was, this like, shot, destroyed. Now in yellow guy who's <laughs> changed, who's discovered himself, who's experimenting, and is in a position to he discovered pull the plug himself. on the duck's surveillance state. If I'm right about the parallels to today's American political system, this is a direct parallel to how many youth have been outspoken about President Trump's policies, and how oh, many no. <laughs> the future of American politics is in the hands of Gen Z, most of you guys watching, who are known to be the most accepting generation. Inclusive, diverse, and eager to change the world to make it a more tolerant place. And that is the wakey-wakey that the trailer is referencing. A wake-up for America, and a reference to the woke generation. The ultimate okay. question is, will Yellow Guy be able to do it? We'll just have to wait and see. <laughs> But hey, that's just a theory, oh. a film theory. My God. Okay, guys. So let's talk about this. First and foremost, if this is true, which, you know, his theories are usually always true, the only issue I'm going to have with this is that I, I, for one, always think that you should avoid, like, politics, you know, in any type of programming for certain things, because if it gets too preachy or this and that, you know, like how the media is sometimes. Like, everything nowadays that you see on TV is all about, like, politics. Like, any, like, comedy is about politics now and I for one don't usually talk about politics because it just makes me angry how everything is and also how everything you know how people are nowadays like they just there's everything everyone hates each other instead of everyone coming to terms and talking out everyone just has to use violence against each other yada 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 and I just hope it doesn't like I hope don't hug me I'm scared doesn't focus on this because I'm always saying that with creativity, things like politics and everything should be left out because it's going to separate the fandom altogether. It's going to make people fight over certain things and it's like, that should be avoided in my personal opinion. But I for one am really scared because if, if the duck become, I don't want him to become like that. I don't want him to become a tyrant because I love duck. I mean, after what he went through, Honestly, I think that he would probably end up becoming insane. I mean, do you guys remember what Duck went through? I think, I mean, Red went through the most where he was just like, you know, how they said that he was the producer and everything and how he saw what was affecting Yellow. And it's like, Yellow did go through a lot, but Duck, you know, how it went with him, if we're going to use that as like symbolically speaking about it, how Duck is, it's like, I think anyone would go insane after going through that, but Yellow, I mean, I don't want, I don't want anything to happen to him either, but honestly, if he has that mohawk, awesome, because I for one love mohawks, they're, they're amazing, but with Yellow, I'm just, I am just concerned that this is going to take a total different turn. Like, I feel like this is going to be that type of video where it's like, there may be more episodes, you know, like more than six episodes. If it's being produced by actual like producers, 
then this may become an actual series, but I'm just scared that if they get too political, it's going to ruin the series overall. Because I, my personal opinion is that you should always leave politics out of certain things. Because if you do, if you don't do that, then people are gonna just argue with each other and then ruin the fun. You know, that's that's the problem. That's the problem I really have. And it makes me concerned as a person because I see that everywhere. I see that in literature, I see that in movies. And it's like, if you're a politician, go ahead, go talk about it. If you're, you know, you do that for your living and that's that's what you do, you go ahead and talk about it. But then when I see all these creative people talking about it and like hurting each other because of it, it makes me upset as a person because instead of everyone just, you know, getting along with each other, we just tear each other apart as human beings and it just, it makes me upset. So I'm hoping that this doesn't go that direction. It's very interesting if it does. I mean, like the Donald Duck reference, that would be fantastic because that would be hilarious. But I'm just scared that because they, they made Red, they locked him out. I'm scared that my boy Red because, you know, I'm trying to think if Red is actually my favorite. I haven't picked a favorite yet, but I, for one, always felt bad for Duck. So after everything that he went through, I'm hoping that he doesn't go insane because their friendship is being torn apart. These guys were like they're buddies. They're, they were like, you know, making a TV show together and how Yellow is... Maybe, like he said, um, he all, he grew up, and now he's all like, Wow, I found and discovered myself. That's why I have the pink mohawk. But I'm just hoping it doesn't tear them apart, because they're the they're the trio, you know? Like how people, I've seen fan art, I've seen a lot of, like, like fan-edited, like, versions of this. I've seen people really love the trio, and if this does tear them apart, that's really, it's gonna upset me as a person, because as you do know, I am light to the internet's goodness, and for this to just, like they said, wakey wakey, how it just came out, it's like, it it makes me happy because I just started watching Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared, and you guys have been watching it for years, so you're probably so excited for it, but I'm just, I'm just concerned that this, if this theory is correct, it may tear people apart, you know, it may tear people apart, instead of, like, giving them an escape and having fun with friends, this may tear people apart if you add politics to it, because trust me, there are a few things that you just don't talk about, and it's, one of them is definitely politics, that's, you just, you don't talk about that, but that's just my opinion, I want to know your guys' opinion on this, because I, I, I for one think that all the theories that are out there for Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared, it's, it's such an amazing series, that it makes me happy as a person to see how many creative people work on this. And it was just an idea, you know? It was started as just a random idea, and it became such a wonderful, like, series with lots of lore to it, and it brings people happiness and joy. So I'm hoping that, despite the fact that it may not follow your political views, I'm just hoping, if this is true, it doesn't tear people apart. Like, I'm hoping you could still enjoy it, even if it may not, like represent who you are from, like, a political standpoint. But as you know, I avoid talking about politics altogether because I know you guys don't want me to, and also, I for one don't want to because I for one don't really... I'm not really knowledgeable when it comes to politics, so I don't think that I really have a say about it, but that's another story for another day. But I'm, I'm really excited for Wakey Wakey. If it becomes an actual, like, TV series or online series outside of YouTube, I'm really excited because they just randomly just drop this. So they're pretty much, like planning something big for us, but maybe it'll be, that's my, my thing is, I'm thinking that it might not be on YouTube, because if they have all these new producers involved, it might be, it could be on its own website, you know, like how some people have like different servers for certain things, or it could be on their own website where it's just about Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared, but it's interesting to see how people got involved with them after all these years, how many like, have they been working together with this production? And, and so it makes me happy as a person to also see that they are able to do that. They are able to take their creative mindset and bring it somewhere else. So, oh man, this is the new Muppets of the century. <laughs> you know, I'm a big fan of Sesame Street. So when I, see, when I see things like this, I'm all like, no, man. Because if there's so much torture involved, if there's so much like how dark and twisted it was... I'm definitely gonna have to put a lot of disclaimers on this, just so you guys don't get freaked out about it, and also just so you guys know that this will be a little scary, because I, for one, am scared of this series, and me being the girl who didn't see the internet for years, and just got on the internet a few years ago, has not seen much. So when I see dark things like this, I am never, never prepared.
That's why things should have disclaimers. But hey, when you go on blind with things, it's even better. But anyway, guys, I would love to know your thoughts on this. Do you love Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared? What are you looking forward to, Wakey Wakey? I, for one, am looking forward to seeing them not kill each other and maybe just still be friends and not, like, go through the torture that they went through because maybe there will be a happy ending. But I doubt it because it's always that type of ending that makes you feel something and that feeling makes you just overwhelmed with emotions not not the good kinds though the emotions that make you think like what is life <laughs> why am i living who am i but anyway guys i hope you have an amazing day you stay safe out there and as always miss cats until the next video embrace you on a fangirl i do on a fanboy every single day